This is DNN, Donut News Network, and I'm your host, AC. And today's top story is Yevgeny Prigozhin, the infamous head of the Wagner Group, has died in a private jet plane accident crashing just north of Moscow, Russia. For more on this story, we go live to a Russian military member who has temporarily taken place as the head of Wagner Group. Sir, are you there? Duh. I am here, American pig reporter. Many high people surrounding Putin. Don't say surround. Not about Putin. I'm sorry. Many people associated with Vladimir Putin have mm, passed away under mysterious circumstances. Doesn't this private jet crashing just north of Moscow raise some questions about the possible assassination? By Vladimir Putin? No, no. Planes fall from sky all the time. Malaysian airline fall out of sky. Ukraine flight over Iran fall out of sky. <laughs> Eastern Africa plane fall out of sky. This very frequent. All of those crashes you just mentioned happen to be planes that were all shot down. Malaysian Airlines specifically was shot down by Russian separatists. What about the laundry list of political assassinations or attempts on Russian figures? Doesn't that bother you, being in your position? All propaganda. No assassination attempts have been made. <laughs> what are you talking? I'm glad you asked. We'll be sure to go down the list of assassination and assassination attempts after this commercial break. Are you tired of figuring out whether or not the news is giving you the real deal or just another BS scoop of bull dung in your face? Well, check out Ground News. I first found out about this Wagner story from Ground News. And I've been using this app and the website in order to get updates on the war in Ukraine. And Ground News gives you the full story. Who's covering it, where it's being covered from, and how many people are covering it. It's interesting to read how each side frames the story differently. One side says that it was shot down and the other says it was just engine failure in an accident. Reading the news this way can help you see how the media can easily manipulate public opinion on stories. But Ground News helps you see through it. Ground News also shows me that this story is being covered by everybody across the world. Not just left, right, or center. I'm talking about multiple different countries. It even tells you which news agencies are covering it. Ground News takes stories from all across the political spectrum in the United States and across the globe and brings it in one place so you can compare all the different stories and make your mind up for yourself. I've been using Ground News in order to get a full picture on what's going on across the world and specifically Ukraine. To compare coverage on this story and make sure that you never miss an update, go to ground.news slash angrycops. Subscribe by clicking my link below for just $5 a month for unlimited access. And thank you, Ground News, for supporting DNN. I wonder if I'll be on Ground News. And we're back, continuing our conversation with the new head of the Wagner Group after the previous one's potential assassination. Uh, sir, I apologize. We didn't get your name before. May I ask you what your name is? Sergey. Sergey Burst. Pavel Antov, a business tycoon who fell from a hotel window. Why is he even standing outside the window? Ravel Meganov, a Luke Oil chairman who fell out of his hospital window. At least he did not have far to go. Dan Rappaport, found dead in front of an apartment building with his wallet and $2,500 cash still on him. Inexperienced robber. Mikhail Lezin, founded the English language television in Russia, uh, found in his hotel room with his head bashed in. Obviously, suicide. Uh, Boris Nemtsov, a previous deputy to the Prime Minister of Russia, shot four times in the back just outside of the Kremlin. The Russian streets are very dangerous. Boris Brzozovsky, a Russian oligarch who is potentially strangled in a locked bathroom in the UK after fleeing Russia. How do you potentially strangle someone, huh? Natalia Astemirova, a journalist covering the human rights abuses by Russia in Chechnya, kidnapped from her home and shot in the back of the head just a few blocks away. In America, with Second Amendment, this probably not happen, you know? Hmm? Come in my door in America. Pacow. Get the Draco. <laughs> Alexei Navalny, head of one of the opposition parties in Russia, poisoned but survived food poisoning. A former Russian double agent, Sergei Skipoval, and two others poisoned. One died, two survived. Also food poisoning. That's kind of a coincidence that both were food poisoning. Duh, of course. You, you have caviar, it's from bad fish. 
you get very upset stomach and then unfortunately you piss away. It's very common in Russia. Well, how about Alexander Levanko, a former Russian spy poisoned by polonium in his tea? Polonium, explain that. Quality of paint. It, Englishmen, they use leaded paint for homes and all sorts of things, automobiles, and now they are using radioactive paint on teacups? This is what is poisoning them. We're going with that? Radioactive teacup paint? Ah, I didn't make the cup. Well, live by the Putin, die by the Putin. Sergey, I have another question for you before we go. Your predecessor was Putin's chef. If I may ask, what was your prior occupation to becoming the new head of Wagner Group? I was Putin's dog walker. Well, Dogs, horse, bear, whatever was in stable, and they pick up their droppings. Still picking up Putin shit. On that note, I'll see you next time, weirdos. What was that? What? I see nothing.